Well, I've a hell of a terrible need. See, I never move at less than incredible speed. And I use several chemicals, never the weed. And I'm living life as high as my medical fees. I never hesitate, never meditate, never get up late. If I get a message on my Facebook, never let it wait. I accelerate, I accelerate, I accelerate, I accelerate, I... I never cook or bake, I stick a plate in the microwave. I always make complaints of delay in a minor way. I'm on the plane train, always on the internet, iTunes, buy music, soon into debt. In their beds, some count sheep in the night sky to fall asleep. But me, I'm dreaming of Wi-Fi. <laughs> Why I might try eBay or Amazon. My salary is gone, but I carry on. I accelerate, I accelerate, I accelerate. Better pace equals better pay, better place. I'm a renegade, I'm a renegade, I'm a renegade. There we sir. <laughs> You're a raptor will ever race, ever race, ever race, ever race, ever race. I accelerate. I accelerate. I will never change. I accelerate. I accelerate. I accelerate. I excel. Right. Raise your hand if you have or you've ever had body issues. You're all lying. Every single hand should be up. And up twice. Yeah, twice. Three times five. Um, so this, I come from a West African background. I come from Ghana originally, and I've always been called too skinny. You know, when you go and meet family members, they say, Ah, oh, you're too skinny, eat some food, put on some weight, how will you get a husband? <laughs> That's the main concern, that you won't get a husband, hus husband due to, you know, not having enough meat. <laughs> Voluptuous, curvaceous, plus size, thick, fuller, figured woman. I admire the way your excess flesh equates to excessive sexiness. The way your meat decides to hang from your bones. A structure that causes male hormones to rage around erogenous zones. The hysteria caused by the extended curvature of your fleshy derriere. <laughs> it appears to defy gravity as it just sits there. <laughs> My heart genuinely sings at the fact that despite being gawked at and possibly referred to as fat throughout adolescence, your confidence remains intact. And this is solidified by the countless pairs of eyes that hungrily devour your thighs and mentally suckle at the nipples that punctuate your full cleavage. <laughs> your sensuality penetrated by their desires and your ability to toy with them, steadily stoking the fire. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's me. <sighs> with an upturned nose, you say dismissively, Ugh, you're so skinny. Excuse me? <laughs> I see you pitifully size up my thighs with your judgmental eyes and wonder why at night women like me cries because we're called skinny. <laughs> it's not me, I do eat, I swear. In fact, I love food. Regardless of my mood, I can happily chomp away, hungry or not. Just know that when you're serving up my plate, be sure to scrape the pot. <laughs> Despite what you think, I am not the one pushed to the brink that excuses herself from the dinner table, casually proceeds to the ladies and shoves an index finger down my slender throat whilst poised over a sink. But you're not content to just think, you verbalise. You need to put on weight, you need to gain some weight. You need to eat, if you eat so much, where does it all go? Well, I don't know. <laughs> the truth is, my mum's side of the family is incredibly slim and my dad's side of the family consists of mainly petite women, but then there I go. Before I did poems, I was um, used to be a rapper. I was always told you should write about what you know instead of rapping about life in the ghetto and killing <laughs> I wrote raps about playing with Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Statistics mode, pencil and protractor when I'm ready to go. They say that I'm a loser with no life and no hope, but I'm a mathematician. What type of facts are those? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> if you grew up with songs and she was three and a third And could be talented with numbers without being a nerd Cause to me, that don't seem irrational like certain If you don't like my logic then just listen to my words Now I may not be normal like a distribution curve But if I don't fit in, <laughs> well I don't give a standard deviation <laughs> <laughs> the denominator because I divide crowds like hyperbolic equations, yeah. I don't know what you take me as, or understand the intelligence that I might have, but from fractions to decimals, I ain't dumb, I've got 99 problems, but maths ain't one. <laughs>